One of the greatest mathematicians of the past 100 years, Paul Erdős, was actually under FBI surveillance for decades. They determined that he, at worst, was, quote, purely a mathematician with typical atmospheric mind as related to factual things, which is a really fancy way of saying he just has his head in the clouds for mathematics. Just like a really weird nerd who loved math. In this situation, the surveillance was perhaps warranted, as Erdish was a Hungarian and Hungary at the time was part of the Soviet bloc, and this was during the height of the Cold War. Not just that, but being an incredibly talented and famous mathematician, he had access and collaborated frequently with, with many top mathematicians and scientists of the time who also had access to top secret information. So perhaps it was in the government's best interest to try to learn some information about this dude who had access to top government secrets. He also had some pretty rad political beliefs in which he just objected to the Cold War, saying that he did not agree with the Iron Curtain, both the USSRs and the United States's, as well as valuing the idea of openness of scientific achievements for the good of humanity. The FBI stated, quote, if he was engaged in research work of a secret nature, he would probably divulge the results of his research to a foreign power in the misguided belief that his actions were serving the best interests of humanity as a whole. That's pretty cool. There also was apparently an incident in which he was found snooping around a top secret radio tower, and when he was caught and asked, hey, why were you here? Here, there was a no trespassing sign. He apparently said that he wasn't paying attention to the no trespassing sign because his mind was full of mathematical theorems that he was thinking about. And I can't emphasize enough just how kind of weird of a guy Erdish was. He just was constantly thinking of mathematical theorems all the time, stating that probably his only love was mathematics, and he never held down a formal research position at any one particular university, instead opting to spend his career just couch surfing effectively with research colleagues and friends, where he would just bounce around between person to person and then do research with them while he was staying with them. The FBI's knowledge of his political views is also really funny because they determined that he most likely was anti-communist, but the Hungarian government also likely knew that and didn't do anything about it because they liked having him almost as a national prize and trophy that they would showcase around by letting him do research with all these people in other countries and saying like, hey, look how smart Hungarians are. And this isn't even talking about any of the many, many, many mathematical contributions he made. It's actually incredible. Oh, and also the supposed drug use that he was quite fond of.